Today I'm going to show you how we're going to reinstall the glove box liner and then the glove box itself with the, uh, the frame here. <clears throat> and that little round piece just snaps into there. That's for the pin for the light thing. So what we're going to do, we've got this in here. You've got three of the larger bolts that go here, here, and here. You've also got <clears throat> one, two, three, four, five, six screws that go in there to hold this frame against this part here of the dash. And then you've got a bunch of smaller screws that are going to go in the holes here. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think we might be missing one or two on the sides that are broken, but uh, this thing's pretty old, so we're just going to roll with it for now. So we're going to put that one in there. We're going to get this bracket in place and I'm going to start with the bigger or the middle size like Phillips ones. Those are going to go in here like this. We're just going to put a couple in just so this will hold itself in place where it needs to go. And then your liner is going to have to come forward a little bit because you've got holes in the brat in the metal framework here. They're going to connect to the liner, so the liner doesn't slide all over the place. Let's put another one or two of these in here just to keep it lined up where it needs to be. Oh, there's my hooks. Got to keep those in there. So put a couple of these in. these little screws in to keep the liner from moving and these are just the little the little itty bitty ones those in place and we're finishing off putting some of these screws in to hold the liner in place we're going to get those in there So that's the framework that holds the glove box liner in. Which those are all tight. And then fish up the rest of these mounting screws here. Skip the light bracket for now, or the light socket for now, because we don't have the proper one missing apart. That would be this part here, but we are missing the black plastic plunger that snap that attaches here and pushes in and out to turn that light on. So I'm gonna have to order one of those. But for now, we're just gonna leave all that stuff in here, and we'll get that later. Now. The tricky part is the three bigger of the screws. Those three are going to go down on here. So there's a metal piece here 
that's on a hinge. It's the hinge for the door itself, but you've got to line that up and get those screws in place. So that is how you install glove box in a 63 to 67 Corvette.